Hey what is up everybody this is player access and today we'll be discussing how can we enumerate SMB shares okay SMB stands for server message block that allow you to share and uh, files printers and serial ports on your network okay you can expose them to the internet as well when I say uh, shares that simply means your file system okay like uh, your home directory your download folder document folder you can expose this thing to your network okay that's what SMB is mainly used for I don't know why you want to <laughs> And how the hack that you can uh, expose uh, serial ports okay it's completely different thing yeah but you can uh, also connect uh, uh, or share printers on a network as well smb legacy was supported uh dependent upon netbios which require port uh, 139 138 and 137 but now it can independently run on 445 as well okay so that's new era but i have seen that you still require 139 uh, port number and 445 i never seen only 445 running single when somebody is running smb uh, servers okay smb is a client server architecture by the way where you can share your files on a network that uh, and to them we call network shares uh, file shares and last thing okay last thing in theory uh, you can run smb on anything okay like uh, windows linux unix mac os but majority of market is available in the Win windows system i don't know why but if you are thinking that uh, where will you find the mostly smb shares then it will gonna be on windows server okay or on windows client of course you can run on other operating systems as well and uh, if you want to run something like that then you will prefer on linux and uh, network file share nfs or something like that okay so we will start with the basic we will perform the nmap scan so we can run is it even running a uh, uh, the server is it uh, even running the smb share or not okay for that i will say i will pn tag and then i will go with port 139 because i know these are the ports that actually use for smb shares and then i can specify the uh this uh, ip address as well enter okay it didn't take too much time okay so i can see this is running an smb share and i can also perform an scripting engine okay and map scripting engine if you don't know about that uh, let nmap scan uh, let uh, nmap will perform some of the scripting thing okay uh, it will run some script and enumerate the smb shares or uh, smb client no smb server not client smb server don't get confused in technical terms okay it can take some time 20 seconds one minute depending upon the network you can also press enter to see how much uh, the scanning is complete so it's complete now and we can see uh, some of the information uh, account use is guess I think we can try some anonymous logins kind of stuff and uh, it is running Windows operating system with the version and SMB share with the version and the computer name is Polo SMB uh, which is a good uh, banner grabbing information that you can see from here okay so and uh, of course it depends upon the net bios and all that okay so this is the basic information that we got from till now we know the versions and we know the smb uh, uh version uh, server version okay and the computer name and now we will perform the scan for the smb share the file system okay so for that we will use a tool called enum for linux and you can just pass the ip address here and it will perform some of uh, the scan automatically so you don't need to worry about them but i just want to say enum for linux haven't received any updates since last two years uh, there's another utility called enum for linux ng that you can try out but uh, this can result into false positive as well that's what okay always keep in mind okay so yeah we got the smb shares okay uh, share enumeration on this ip address we have few of the uh, smb shares we can see uh, netlog uh, printer or ipc they are kind of default you will see on each uh, operating system that you use uh, this is splitting other information for the server that you can try out the but we now are focusing on uh, smb shares okay but there is something different which is profile which is not usual that you will usually will see on smb clients okay so we'll enumerate this one and if you come over here i think uh it's saying that you are not allowed to access this share and uh, this is mapping and listening that you are allowed to access this share of course you will require id and password for that and no information available for this and no information available for ipc as well so okay we can close it and uh, you could have just t it into a uh, file output.txt but uh, let's just forget about that okay so so we got the information that there are some smb shares available on the server and uh, now we can enumerate them and uh, but th before this i just want to share you one command line utility which is more important 
and which is more useful i think it's a uh, more robust uh, okay less robust so it will not generate a lot of traffic on the server on the target machine okay so i can just do uh, smb client tag l that simply means list all the uh, smb shares okay and the target ip address and you can put any id and password for listing okay so of course we got the same information and there's one work group which is work group and uh, a computer name polo or master which is handling all these things uh, polo smb okay so we were thinking about enumerating this one for that we require id and password and we don't have them so what we could do we could try some anonymous logins uh, just like if you are aware of anonymous ftp logins you just uh, enter anonymous as id and password and you can log in into smb share uh, sorry in ftp uh, that's the same case with smb as well you can try this out so let's do this okay smb client and uh, smb client then you and then you have to pass uh, the anonymous credentials and you can also do percent and the same thing anonymous as well uh, for the password first is for username second is for password after the uh, percentage sign and otherwise you can just uh, enter username and it will ask for password automatically to you okay and if i now press enter it will give me an error uh, just because it's asking me which share do you want to access okay so uh, there's a syntax that you little bit have to remember this thing okay and then you can uh, run this thing and we can say i want to do access profiles okay i think you can see that so this is the ip address and i want to access this profile share uh, maybe i used wrong directions okay 10 okay sometimes you will get confused with these things please okay now i'm logged in okay and there are things that you can run okay you can just run help command here and see what can you do but for now uh the most common command is get get the files first is this which is looks interesting to me which is i will see what is this okay and now we can also see okay usually you won't see that somebody is uh, mounting entire their home directory into smb share this is not very common usually we'll share uh, file systems or, uh, or a hierarchy which is uh, based on departmental or role based okay it's like uh, an uh, engineering department is only allowed to access this file share okay so not an entire file system but now we have that we can uh, go to navigate to dot ssh and can steal private keys as well so it's kind of a privilege escalation kind of stuff okay getting the system access you can try this out okay it's out of the scope but still we will gonna do it okay we can get the okay don't do that okay so i got the smb private keys that allow us to access this server on which smb server is running without entering any password so i will exit from here okay and uh, there are other things as well okay you don't have to provide any like uh, just a second i will try some different thing so i changed the ip address to show you a very neat uh, unexpected behavior from smb things okay so i will enter an incorrect id password anything you can enter okay it should be percent okay enter and it will say you are not allowed because it's wrong credentials okay so that's what i want to show you actually yeah i cannot connect to it okay timeout uh, it should show uh, okay maybe let's start the service uh, uh, wait for a second so as you can notice i changed my ip address because i want to show you a very neat thing from smb client or smb uh, this protocol i didn't enter any uh, username and password i will just enter and it should show me okay i'm logged in okay it didn't show me this time okay i'm logged in that simply means i didn't enter any correct id and password still i'm log allowed to log in okay so thing is if you enter even wrong id and password and once you are authenticated you can log in without any credential uh, you can just pass the wrong credentials as well okay and you can log in i got access okay and just because you are you authenticated yourself one time then you don't need to authenticate yourself again and again and i found this behavior very strange okay i don't know why this is but yeah uh this is a thing and one more thing if you don't want to enter wrong password there is a call tag tag no pass which allow you to don't ask for id and password just if i can log in without id and password let me get in okay i can get in here okay so i can access the smb share without any password as well but i can also access smb share with wrong password if i am authenticated once okay i don't know how to log it out okay if you established a session you can log in with wrong credential 
let me correct if you know anything why this is a behavior okay i tr tested this thing on two three machines and it's the same thing on all of them okay so till now i just want to show you some creds okay you can try this id password guess guess username anonymous and uh, to attack no pass okay that simply uh mean you are allowed to log in as anonymous okay there are other ones that i will tell you in the end end of the video that you can try as well okay but we got a file uh, while working with this and this is sharing uh, there are two names john is saying something to uh from john to james okay so okay and uh, we also have an id actually ls id rsa a private key but we can try to log in into this uh, server uh, do i have the ip address yeah i do have okay okay so i can try to log in into the server because i have the private key but before this this private key should have the permission read and write just for the user kali not for the group kali not for the other as well so i have to remove those permission this is very neat see ch mode 300 and you can do id rsa and now if i do this only read and write permission to user kali not uh, any permission to other users and even the member of the groups okay now i can do that otherwise if you don't run the command if you don't remove the permission or you don't give the proper permission permission to private keys it will not gonna work okay smb client will uh, ssh will would say no nah, i'm not gonna accept it okay so i can do this okay first of all i require username and we can try uh, these ones but i know i already solved this room it's cactus okay username so i can do ssh cactus it should be small and then i need to have the ip address let me grab the ip address again okay this is the ip address minus i means i can specify private key without any id and password i can log in into the server now if everything works properly uh did you work okay i got the access so now you can access the smb client.txt here and you got the flag okay so we discussed two things here how can we enumerate ssh uh, sorry smb and how can we exploit it uh, what are the default credentials that you can try out and uh, we discussed two client enum for linux and uh, smb client that you can explore more and we also uh, discussed the private key concept that can allow you to access the server itself we can also explore which file system smb actually was mounting so it's samba okay so samba is a server that allow you to run smb protocol on a server okay so okay profiles and now you can see these were the all the files that we were uh, seeing from the smb shares these were the same files okay so this is called smb shares okay and this is called smb protocol yeah okay and uh, i think videos ended i just want to show you where can you find all the other resources you can try this uh, website called hack tricks it's an amazing resource okay if you don't if you do want to enumerate something and you don't uh, and you don't know how to enumerate it just type hack tricks and smb okay just search on the internet and you will get this link uh, on top hacktricks.org amazing resource you can try out okay there are other tools they also have explained you can try them out but most of the time you will going to working around uh, smb client and uh, enum for linux as well okay and these are some okay let me just show you some other default credentials here so these are some other default credentials that you can try we tried tag tag no pass that simply means blank password blank id and guest blank password and other things okay that you can try out so that's all that's all about smb shares and uh, thank you so much for watching this is the room okay network service this is a room that you can try how can you enumerate different uh, protocols as well thank you so much for watching see you soon goodbye soon when i don't know